Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, today is going to be more or less a, a topic of discussion here. Um, it's kind of, uh, you know, people are, are on either one side of the fence or the other. Very few are kind of in between. Um, we're going to be talking about if blade steel really does matter or not. And, uh, you know, it's a, not an easy question to answer for sure. Um, I try to take a really objective stance on this and just the truth is, uh, for, uh, you know, maybe 90% of you, um, <laughs> the answer is still going to be kind of yes and no. Um, one thing that I want to make clear is, um, you know, for most of you guys, just the general everyday users, it's not going to matter. I mean, really, it's not going to matter. So, you know, I, I want to use these Kershaw links as an example. Um, the typical kind of base model, I guess you would call it, or, you know, not really base, because this is kind of the slightly upgraded with the aluminum scales. But, uh, you know, aluminum versus aluminum, the gray is a 420HC blade steel versus uh house of blades exclusive uh s35 vn and uh, there's a cost difference there so uh you know some people might be asking you know is it is it worth it or is this knife trash because it's 420 hc um you know and that's already not a steel that's got a, a great reputation but um you know it for most people no it it's not really gonna matter at all. Um, and the reason for that is for most of us, we don't have any job or duty or whatever you want to call it that requires so much cutting that you need a knife to perform all day, potentially even up to a week without really needing to give it a good resharpening. That's just the flat out truth is most of us don't have a, a job or anything like that that requires that much cutting. Is it that much of a big deal that you have to maintain your knife when you get home or every other day or every three days even? I just, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, but also on the other side of that, there's, you know, in, in this case with the Kershaw Lynx, um, you know, this gray aluminum is about 50 bucks, 49.95. The the red with the S35 VN is about 90. So, you know, even if the, there's a price range where you should expect better materials. Uh with higher cost should come higher quality and higher materials. So, you know, in this case if if I was going to spend $90. Yeah, I would hope that this knife has S35 VN. If let's just say this didn't exist at all and this knife, the gray with 420 HC was selling for $90, I can't imagine it would sell very much if at all. Just because at $90 you expect a higher quality of materials. So I can see both ends of it where, um, you know, for me personally, I just have, you know, very basic cutting tasks. You know, there's some days where I may not even use my knife to cut anything. Uh, and that's, like I said, just the flat out truth. Uh, you're not always going to be using your knife in such a heavy manner that it is absolutely necessary for you to go you know, for you to be cutting eight hours or something without needing to resharpen it. It's it's just not true. I mean, you really need to take a good look at how you use your knives and realize that um, it could save you a lot of money. You know, in this case, um, like I said, I mean, if, if you have your preferences and, and you really, really have an objection towards 420HC in this instance, then is paying that 40 extra dollars to get S35 VN just is, I mean, is that a deal breaker? Is that worth $40 to you? Uh, some people would say yes. I mean, there's 
the collectability part of it, but uh, that's kind of separate. Um, I, I don't think it matters <laughs> really. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's yes and no. I mean, it's still, no matter what way you look at it, it's, you know, it'll still boil down to you and your preferences. But if you're really taking an objective look at it, it, it really doesn't matter. If you're getting really hung up on whether you should buy this knife or that knife, or should I get this or should I pay the extra for the, the better blade steel? Um, if you don't care about the collectability of it, like in this case, then it you should just get the $50 knife. I mean, it's the same exact design. It's the same exact knife, just with the lesser blade steel, but at almost half the cost, almost. So, you know, in, in that way, if you're looking at a knife that you just want to use and you don't use your knives very hard, and like I said, that is seriously at least 90% of all of us. And just being honest here, that's at least 90% of all of us. We we don't do that. So, uh, the, you know, in most cases, it's not worth it. Uh, if you're paying more for a knife, though, like I said, I can see where you would want a higher material. Um, you know, there, within each price category, there should be expectations of certain materials. You know, if you're, uh, if there's a knife that's $100 or more, I would never, ever expect to see any 8CR, 13MOV, um, you know, 420HC, like in this, any 400 series steel. Um, even... A D2, I feel, is kind of, uh, you know, shouldn't really be used up there. I'm, you know, I'm kind of, <laughs> even even me right now saying this, I I feel like I'm being kind of like a steel snob, but, um, you know, we I feel like most of us play into both categories a little bit. But uh, <laughs> the long, long story short, uh, for most of us, in most cases, Blade seal doesn't matter as much as we would like to think it does. Uh, some cases you could make the argument though. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on what I think about the situation. Um, like I said, I really try to think of it objectively and uh, I hope it uh, sheds a little bit of light on uh, on the issue. And again, this is mostly my opinion. It, it really boils down to a person by person preference. Um, but yeah, thanks. Thank you for... Uh, listening to me or rant or, you know, go on and on or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if, uh, if you're new here, or even if you're returning and haven't quite decided yet, uh, link to my Instagram is also in the description box below. Uh, please go ahead and check me out on there. Get some cool pics behind the scenes shots. You can interact with me directly too. So, uh, yeah, with uh with all of that, man, let's uh we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.